Alright, what's up guys, it's Eagle52 here again. Um, this is part two of my new baits I got at my garage sale I went to. And this is gonna be, hopefully, I'm, I know I'm gonna get through jigs and chatter baits and all that, but hopefully I can get to the hard baits and like crank baits and all that. Sorry guys, my cat's in there next to me. Oh, she got scared by something. There she is. Good, good girl. But, um, start out with I got this Booyah jig. I did not get this at the garage sale. I got this at, um, at, uh, a local tackle store near there. But it's a swim jig, black and blue Booyah, with two rattlers on it. I've not really got any jigs with these rattlers on it. But, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's some rattlers. There are these two black things on the side. So they're looks really durable and all that. What are you doing? As you can see my cat's like going in between my bed or something. I don't know. Then you guys have seen this, this double bladed booyah buzz bait. I've still have not found a place for it and I have like 200 boxes like no I have like five boxes I think but I thought I would have room for it alright start out with getting into this box this is like my jigs and some of my buzz baits and all that alright start out with um oh man this is gonna be tricky I got this it's like a brown and dark brown chatterbait and it's got a frog trailer in it. it's got a frog on it this frog is really thick but there's that oh my gosh what are you doing cat do not lay on that sorry my cat's laying on like a saw blade um I got another, I got like the exact, it's the same thing as the one that you guys just saw, I think just a lighter brown colors, what are you doing, lighter brown colors, ow she bit me, but it still is a frog as a trailer as you guys can see, there's the hook, it's still got the rubber cover, like I said these, most of these baits are brand new. But these chatterbaits were like two for three dollars, so I bought a bunch of them. Cause I'm on a tackle shop for the chatterbaits this heavy, they're like seven bucks. Well, let alone any chatterbait. But I got another chatterbait. This is in like a neon green or a neon yellow. It's really bright. I'm really looking forward to fishing these. There's that with another frog trailer. Like I said, again, the rubber hook cover. That's these. Oh my gosh, my cat is like worrying me. Um, hold on, let me just put these back because I don't want to have to like move everything around for this darn video. So I like don't do it good. Usually my videos are so long. As you guys can see half my videos are like extremely long. And then this, it's this looks like an okay chatterbait to me. I just don't like the look of that head. I mean look at it. Doesn't that look weird? But it's a golden blade chatterbait and it's got like a golden head too. The head is painted gold and it's white and with like brownish red tips at it looks like it's got a decent hook it's got some flex if you squeeze hard but and it's got these two rattlers these rattlers do not work at all you would have to like one of them looks like it works good but I'm just probably just gonna tear them off. 
because it's it was a really old one that I think it was used, but it's still the skirt and all that's in good shape, but the, them aren't. All right, then I've got this another chatterbait. This is like a bunch of colors. It's like chartreuse with orange and then it's got a black grub on there still again with the hook covers I don't feel like taking them off cuz I don't want to get them tangled unless I'm gonna use them and that hook up that grub is on them like perfect whoever rigged that did that really nicely and it's got a golden, no silver blade. Yeah, silver blade. And then this head shape is the same as that other one, except this one looks pretty good. Because the skirt's not all the way down. I know I could pull the rubber band up and it would fluff it up more. But, I don't really feel like doing it right now. Alright, and then I've got this. This one looks promising. This looks good. This is another chatterbait. And it's black and blue with a black grub on it again. There you guys go. So we got the rubber hook cover on. All mine have the rubber hook covers on right now, guys. There's them. Sorry, just let me put them away. Oh boy. Okay, um yeah, these are new. More chatterbaits. I got mostly chatterbaits which are in these. More chatterbaits. This is in a black color with like a silver bluish flake. This is a really weird chatterbait because first off, off of the head, it's got this needle right here for rigging worms. But the thing is, it doesn't even line up with the hook basically. And as you can see, it's one of them weird hooks. And then it's got this rattler. It's like not even hooked on. And it's a black ball. What are you doing? What are you doing, sweetheart? Sorry, my cat is like chewing at something now again. Alright, and then I've got this other chatterbait. This is a good looking chatterbait. I like the look of it. I think it's a swim jig chatterbait, but because the skirt isn't like a regular skirt, it's completely flat at the top. As you can see, it's flat out, and then the hook is really long. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a pretty long hook. It's like halfway down my finger, more than halfway down my finger. That's a long straight hook. I'm, it's most likely for swim jigs, which I'm probably gonna rig one up on, cause it would, it looks good, it looks like it would do good. Quit chewing on that. Sorry, guys, my cat's chewing on something again. She's pissing me off. But I'm not gonna do animal abuse. I'm not like that. I hate people that do animal abuse. I love all my animals. Animals. That was really like pathetic. But um that's all of them. So what are you doing? What do you wanna be on YouTube? Say hi. Say hi. I'm surprised she didn't bite me. She has a habit of biting, even if you're, she likes petting you. That's how you can tell when she likes how oh, you're petting her. If she, if she bites you, she like turns around and claws your hand and bites you. And then if you stop petting her, she does that. I mean, look at her. What?
<laughs> she sees herself. She's like, is that me? But yeah, she has a habit of like clawing you if you don't pet her and she wants to get petted. And then when you do pet her, she still claws you and it hurts. But guys, um, that's the end of part two. I guess I couldn't get to hard baits. Please stay tuned to uh, part three for the hard baits and a reel I got. So, see you then. Eagle 52's out.